My name is Matt from uh, Pennsylvania. I served uh, 23 years in the United States Air Force. Um, I served uh, four uh, tours in, uh, to serve uh, Operation Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. I was medically retired in uh, May 28th of 2018. Uh, towards the end of my career when I was going through my uh, uh, medical, medical evaluation board phase as far as with my medical retirement, uh, now I was, it was a real dark point in my life. I didn't realize that things were out there until I started researching a little bit more. And uh, came across the America's Vet Dogs uh, you know, through web searches and read about the program and uh, you know who you guys provide service dogs for and the training and what the dogs are trained for. Uh, it felt like it was a, a, a perfect fit. Uh, you now the process of knowing that yeah, you know, a dog's found and picked for me and coming to the class and uh, you know, the excitement you now is coming and then just all of a sudden realizing, that, wow, the day is here. Her personality and my personality has just seemed like they were perfect right off the start. And um, you know, the confidence that she has given me in just this short period of time already of being able to tackle different things in my life and doing different things I haven't done in a long time. Uh, it's just been amazing. It was probably, um, believe it or not, one of the happiest times of my life. Uh, feeling of like, you know, a child graduating school. Congratulations, you know, here's your vest, you've made it this far, and you're mine and we're going to be together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> you know, it was a combination of, of emotions. Is just, you know, that was, you know, one, one of the major high points of, of our training here. With my tours, like I said, in Iraq and Afghanistan, um, came back from Afghanistan in 2010, and about a year later, uh, you know, found out that I actually had a uh, fractured vertebrae that was suffered, um, you know, while we were on a convoy mission in, in Afghanistan. Uh, had spinal surgery, uh, still have issues with my back, I have good days and bad days, and there's sometimes it, it's really tough for me to be that mobile and actually even maybe even pull a door open, um, but just having that confidence knowing that Raven is there and that's a task that she is definitely going to do no matter what because she wants to. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that's going to help me get out and do a lot of things I've put off for a long time. When I uh, first learned the rest command, that was probably another one of the most emotional days. Command for rest is when your dog comes over to you and just puts their head on your lap. Uh, reset yourself, you know, pet her on the head, you know, to kind of ground yourself a little bit. She just looks right up me in the eyes and she stares past my eyes almost into my soul. It's an amazing task for her. This has just been uh, an amazing experience uh, from fellow classmates I've met who have become lifelong friends over the past two weeks. And talking with each other, it's like our lives have intertwined at some different point and you know we've all faced our different issues in the past and brought us together to you know really have the best therapy that we've ever had is just being here with each other and uh, having the service dogs uh, what they've given us is just uh, amazing we've all had our our emotional moments has just been and when we have those times, we talk to each other what those times were and how, the, how our service dogs are going to be there for us and help us do things we haven't done in a long time and help us actually, you know, live a quote-unquote normal life. And as America's vet dogs, as the saying, you know, you know, live life without boundaries.